Mall, the Belly Dance Geek, and this is a special live episode of my podcast, More Than Steps. More Than Steps is a podcast where we geek out on how belly dance works, one coffee run at a time. And we have really terrible weather here in Boston today, so I am not doing this on my way to the coffee shop as usual. I am drinking my own iced coffee here at home, and for some reason that's a New England thing. We drink iced coffee in the winter. Um, but I wanted to tell you the story of why this is so strange that I'm not doing it my usual way. Now, I created More Than Steps back in July, and I designed the process and the habit of creating my podcast every week by fitting it into an opening that already existed in my morning routine, walking to the coffee shop in the morning to get my morning coffee. But lately, that walk has not been happening. We've had some really cold temperatures, and I was finding that the colder the weather got, the more likely it was that my microphone cable would freeze. And it was so rigid, I was actually afraid of breaking it. And it was kind of expensive. And plus, today we have 18 inches of snow coming. So I'm pretty sure the cafe that I usually go to is closed. Now, I am not a wimp when it comes to winter weather. I grew up in Buffalo, for all for that matter. But this is ridiculous. And so forcing myself to go out just to record the podcast isn't really a smart move. The whole point of the podcast was to fit it into an opening that already existed in my morning routine. And so trying to force it was going to backfire. It means turning something that I want to do, taking a nice walk in the morning, getting some me time, getting my caffeine fix, it turned it into something that I have to do. And so while trying to force my standard routine might help in the short term, but in the long term, it would really undermine the whole effort. So I took a big step back and I asked myself, what's at the heart of this habit? If I strip away all of the specific details and the specific routine, what's still left? What matters? Well, one thing is coffee. You know, whether I go out or stay in, I'm still going to have some coffee every morning. And so if I continue to associate the habit of creating my podcast with that morning coffee, then I don't have to build a brand new habit from scratch. I can just adapt it. The second thing that's important is that creating my podcast always has to be sometime after I do my dance practice and work on writing my book. Those are two of my biggest priorities right now and for the long term, and so they come before any other work. Otherwise, they don't happen. The podcast does matter to me, but it has to come after those two crucial things. And the third thing that matters is that I want to continue doing these podcasts in one take. With a few exceptions, my walking podcasts are all single take recordings. That doesn't mean that I always get it on the first try, although that has been happening more and more as I get more experienced at this. But what it means is that I'm not allowed to redo things and splice multiple takes together. If I make a small mistake, it stays in. And I've already made a couple of small mistakes during this video, but you probably didn't notice, or if you did, you noticed you've forgotten already. But if I make a big mistake, I will just start over with a brand new take. So maybe I stop, go get my coffee, and then redo it on the way home. Or sometimes I save it for another day. And the reason I set that rule for myself is so that I wouldn't get caught up in perfectionism. Because the thing is, if I allow myself to edit, what happens is I record, I don't really like it, so I re-record some parts, and then I edit, and I tweak, and I try and mix different takes together, and I get really, really picky. And the thing is, is that that takes up so much time and effort that it makes me just not want to do the project as a whole. So for the next couple of weeks, I'm going experimenting with a way to make these more than steps episodes while still keeping those three crucial things intact. Coffee, doing it after my morning, my morning priorities, and also making sure that I do them in a single take. And so I'm going to be doing that right here as Facebook Live videos. Now, I will continue posting the audios to the podcast as usual, so if you're listening to this on iTunes, you'll still get them there. But I'm going to record them right here on Facebook Live. I'm going to do them as I drink my morning coffee, and at that point in the day, I'm probably not going to have makeup on. I don't have any on today. I was shoveling snow, so my hair is wet, nothing on. Um, and I do like you guys, but not enough to put on makeup for you every day. And there's a good chance that some of them are going to be done in my bathrobe. Now, the time and the day may vary. My coffee runs did vary quite a lot. Sometimes I did them right after the writing, fairly early in the morning. Sometimes I did the mid-morning, or sometimes I didn't even go out until lunchtime. 
But the common factor was that I recorded my podcasts the first time I left the house for the day. Now, this is going to work great while the weather sucks, but when my morning walk becomes more attractive, I do plan on going back to my original routine. So you will start hearing some of the traffic noises, the birds, the kids playing again sometime soon. Now, why am I telling you this? Well, first off, it's a heads up. The podcast is going to sound a little different for a while because I'm recording it on my headset and not on my crazy cat lady microphone, uh, which is a clip on lav that actually has a windscreen that looks like a cat toy. But also, I'm mentioning it because if you happen to be on Facebook when I record them, you can watch me do it live. But more importantly, this is a great example of why consistency depends on flexibility. There's an old saying that the reed that bends in the wind doesn't break. And you will find that everywhere. I hear it goes back to Aesop and possibly even before him. And that was also mentioned in the Tao Te Ching. And the core of that message is that in the face of big challenges, being flexible is better than being rigid. A reed bends in the wind and survives the storm, but the rigid oak is uprooted and blown away. And this is really important when your goal is to be consistent, whether that's showing up for your dance practice, writing your novel, emptying the dishwasher every day, or producing a podcast, stuff is going to come up. Life happens. And if you try to stick too rigidly to your routine, you're going to snap and give up. And so instead, you have to be prepared to be flexible. That doesn't mean giving up on it entirely, just recasting your habit. You Sometimes you have to change how you show up so that you can keep showing up. The weather here isn't getting better anytime soon. I'm going to have to go out and shovel again in another hour or so. And then after that, it's going to be freezing for a good long while. And so I have to adjust the plan for my podcast so that I can keep doing it consistently. And if something else is making it hard for you to be consistent about your dance practice or anything else that matters to you, think about how you can bend so you don't break. Now, protecting your practice in many ways is one of the topics that we talk about in my online course, How to Build a Sustainable Practice Habit. We have a new DIY version, so you don't have to wait for us to run a group version, and you can get that anytime at bellydancegeek.com store. Thanks for listening, and stay warm.